Hello and in this video I would like to describe an unusual meal you have had. You should say who you were with, where you went, when it happened and explain why it was unusual. When it comes to an unusual meal I've had, the first one that came to mind was when I was holidaying in Italy. It was not the food that was weird, it was the location. I was travelling with a group of mates. Well, as a matter of fact, apart from one of them, they weren't friends, they were classmates, because we were on a school trip. Anyway, we were looking for somewhere to eat in a stunningly beautiful town in the mountains. Everyone was fed up because we were shattered after the long journey to get there and starving because we hadn't eaten for ages. One of the group saw McDonald's and suggested going in there. Although I was famished and worn out, I didn't want to go in an American chain. We were in Italy and therefore I wanted to get a taste and flavour of Italy. Without the rest of the group realising, my friend and I just carried on walking and separated from them. We walked towards the outskirts of the town. As in tourist hotspots, the restaurants generally serve food that tourists want and not the food that the locals eat. As we were in Italy, a country renowned for its cuisine, we wanted to try something authentic. Suddenly, we saw a group of people going into a tiny building with no sign outside so we decided to follow them. When we got inside, we saw a very rustic but cosy place and we were invited to sit down. There were no menus, but within seconds bread appeared on our table. This was quickly followed by all kinds of traditional Italian dishes. The food was incredible. The tastes and textures were astounding. It made me realise that you do not need to be in a fancy restaurant. This meal is by far the best I've ever had, and it was in the strangest of places. It looked like a garden shed. OK, so let's take a look at the language in here. I've used holiday here as a verb. When I was holidaying, you can use holiday as a verb, and the reason I've used it as a verb is it gives you some past continuous, which is great for your grammatical range band score. This topic is about an unusual meal. Other words for unusual are weird, bizarre. Now, you don't just have to talk about an unusual meal in terms of food. It can be, as in my case, the location, which means the place. When you're adding some extra information, I'm saying it's a group of mates and then I'm saying, well, no, it's not. So, as a matter of fact. Stunningly beautiful, great to describe places, and it means very, very beautiful. You could use it to talk about your hometown or any other topic on places. If you are fed up, you've just had enough, you're bored, you're tired, you're just like, right, I'm sick of this now. I'm fed up. Shattered is a great informal word to describe when you're feeling very, very tired. And starving when you're very, very hungry. And for ages means for a very long time. Famished is another word which means starving, very hungry, famished. Worn out, another expression that just means very tired, shattered. I've tried to use lots of synonyms in here just to try and expand your lexical resource and expand your vocabulary. Chains are shops or restaurants that are part of a group. So, Nando's, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, these are a chain. The taste and flavour of Italy, whatever meal you're talking about here in this topic, you might want to talk about the taste and flavour 
of that country. Just want to point out carry on when you carry on doing something, it means to continue doing something, and we use it with an ing verb carried on walking. The outskirts of the town, this means the edge of the town, not in the city centre. Tourist hot spots are places that are very popular with tourists. The locals, great word for describing the people who live in a place. A country renowned for its cuisine, great for this topic. Renowned for means famous for. Cuisine is another word for food. And here I'm saying we wanted to try something authentic. Authentic means real. So I'm saying it's actually from Italy. It's not like having McDonald's in Italy, which is more American style food. Authentic is real Italian food. Tiny means small. Remember not to use basic words like big, small, tiny, massive. Rustic is used, can be used to be described restaurants that don't have lots of fancy chairs and tables. They're done in a very minimalist style, kind of lots of wood in then very simple style. I'm saying, but it's cosy. That means warm and friendly and welcoming. The menu is what you get in a restaurant, which has all the food items written on it. And if you're doing this topic, think about the taste, the textures. The texture of the food is how it feels in your mouth. Is it crunchy? Is it soft? And here is another word that means great, astounding. A fancy restaurant. This means a very posh, a very expensive, an upmarket restaurant. And it was a garden shed. So it was like the thing you have in your garden that you put your garden tools in. Okay, hope you found the vocabulary language in this video useful and good luck if you're taking your IELTS test soon. Thanks for watching.